we met hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. And after that, we decided to move in when we came down to Durango. I had done a ton of hiking before the PCT and just knew I didn't need that much. So it was a pretty easy decision and Copper was totally on board, so we uh, went for it. I was ready to start my freelance graphic design career and I knew this was going to help me do that and I could travel wherever I wanted to go and that timing wise worked out so well. Uh, I decided to leave the company I was with in Boulder and stayed on with them on a contract basis and then just kind of developed my own company which is Canvas Design Studio and that has been incredible living out of the tiny house. I built the house about two years ago with my parents' help. Um, I'm from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, so I moved home and pretty much said, hey guys, what do you think about this fun project? And my dad's an architect, and my mom and dad love to redo houses for fun, so when they heard about the tiny house idea, they were all on board. It took about nine months in total to build the whole house, but it was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. Welcome, my name is Gary. I'm Kayla. And we've been living in the tiny house for about a year and a half now. It was built two years ago. And we've been in Durango for a little over a year now and it's, uh, it's been good to us so far. So why don't you come check it out? So this is the garage. Um, it was designed so that it can roll up like a regular garage, like a, a regular house. Kind of fits everything. Uh, the house is built to be off the grid. So we have batteries over here and then solar panels that can be switched to. Um, but it holds our skis and our bikes and our climbing stuff and our tools. And it's pretty nice and convenient. So there's the battery system and the solar system. It's three panels that we use. And currently I'm not hooked up because we're on grid here. But if I were to go off grid, um, there's four battery packs that hold the storage for the solar. Um, and that would be more than enough for the whole house. Plus I can run a, can run a vacuum, my hair dryer, which are the biggest pool items. So. We've got three, originally only two um, places for it, but in the winter sometimes it's nice not to have to go out and refill uh, the propane. We have a great refill, it does it by the pounds. And so it's really nice, it's really cheap, which is great. Um, I would say in the summer we go through all three of these like twice. We use almost no propane because the biggest pull is our uh, wall heater. We just weatherized um, some components out here. This really helps. Something you there. Warm that up, it allows the propane to run a, a whole lot nicer and even steady hot water. So this deck comes off in three sections, and so basically we got uh, welded. Um, I guess brackets for the side of the house that what I'm driving basically it can sit right inside the house which is really nice because it provides more weight on the front of the house which is important because when you go inside the loft and the bathroom are in the back so we needed more weight in the front. This just comes apart really easily. Um, it's been really nice. It feels like the house is a lot bigger with it. And of yeah. course Copper likes to sun himself on it. This is Copper. Copper. This is your favorite? All right, this is our tiny home. Welcome. Um, you're in the living room right now, living room and dining room and storage area. <laughs> um, but yeah, this couch was a huge part of the process. We found this couch from Ikea and we had to extend the walls of the trailer by half an inch to fit it. But within the couch is storage and it pulls out and is a uh, bed as well. So I could sleep four easily in here and I do often. And that's been huge. Essentially the whole house was designed, designed after off this. of this piece so it's kind of i also it was really important for me when i was building to have a really comfortable area to hang out i love having people over so that was huge i wanted it to feel relaxing and comforting and also it's our where we watch tv and movies we have a projector and a projector screen um and that having an actual couch is kind of huge for that this is the dining room and this has an extender that comes out to here as well so I can sit up to six people comfortably for dinner which is really nice but also this folds down and so it kind of opens up the area so you kind of have an actual space in here. <laughs> when building I think one of the things that I was really trying to touch on was making a cabin feel but also using modern things so you'll notice a lot of natural hardwoods and um, finishes and this was just we had a lumber guy back I'm from Lancaster Pennsylvania so we're from like where the Amish is um, 
and we would go and we'd pick something and be like, okay, how big and how wide do we need? And then let's just put it and then you'll see throughout the house. That's big, plants were big, just making it feel kind of outdoorsy because we're really into the outdoors. <laughs> we're in the kitchen and as you can see, it's got a nice big uh, surface area for cooking, preparing a lot of times. Uh, one of us is cooking here, one of us is either chopping up stuff here or working on the uh, stove top. We have this um, cutting board that goes over the sink and then removes so you have more access into the speed, uh, sink and you also have another area if you need it to prepare or there's a bunch of people in the house which happens more than you'd think like six people and somebody's doing this, somebody's doing that, other people are hanging out so it feels like a big component of the house. Yeah, and then here we have our, our vent that goes outside, our two burner stove, um, we've got a little spice rack, so everything just kind of has to have a home. More of our uh, food and things like that go up there. Copper also has his food right in here, this is his water. Um, but yeah, no, the kitchen I think was also a huge part of the build because I love to cook, we love to cook, so it's... I didn't want to skimp on anything with a big wall oven. I was I knew I'd be cooking all the time, so that was pretty essential. Full wall oven. This is um, made for washer and dryer if we wanted to put one in. Right now we just have our recycling and extra storage for now. Um, full cabinets for plates and cups over here and then extra stuff for cooking over here. Uh, so in the kitchen, this refrigerator also was important to have, like I said, a big fridge because we uh, like to like actually go to grocery, the grocery store, not just have, you know, a few days of food and we can go for it. Um, this stair was essential because Copper, we wanted him to be able to come upstairs and kind of have as much space as he could being a big dog. He loves to run up and down the stairs. Really cool too, we found these boxes. So this is all the clothing we have. Um, and then behind them, we have whatever we need. So this is arts and crafts, this is our games, this is our cleaning supplies. So we kind of, it took us some time that we figured out what's in you, like what quadrant where, and it hides things well. Behind here is all of copper stuff, so. It makes it look a little cleaner, I think, so. Sometimes it's nice to have things hanging and easily accessible, but when you get into the rhythm of knowing where things are, you can put them back there and then you have kind of that clarity of mind when the house is clean, you're just like, oh. This is a little closet though, so we, with dresses and jackets, um, our vacuum cleaner and our like filing cabinet are all in there. So uh, that was just a nice different touch just to kind of break the stairs up. And I really honestly don't think I would do anything differently with this. Um, and in the cabinets, I guess we can talk a little bit about this, but I've got the whole water system to be off grid like I was mentioning outside, but it's only a 35 gallon tank so you can fill it from outside, but that would last with showers about three to four days, um, which would be okay, but it would be, it would take some maintenance if I was totally off grid. Welcome to the bathroom. Um, the sliding door was nice, it's a pocket door, uh, takes no space, there's a mirror in the back. Um, gives you privacy. Everything you need is here. Composting toilet. Uh, a few of our neighbors have the same one, but um, it's the nature's head, so it separates the solids and the liquids. No smell at all vents outside. Really easy. I was so impressed by that. Highly recommend it. Shelving makes it easy with all your towels and all anything else you need up there. Hooks for towels and robes are important. Um, this was an IKEA. Um, shelf as well that we really cut down and we made super narrow but again it's everything you need in there um, like I was saying with the natural wood I love that we did decided to go this route just let us kind of customize the house how we wanted um, the wall um, metal is the same company that made the roof which is metal and that works really well at one point last winter I had something freeze because it was my fault but <laughs> I had to take a whole panel off made it really easy to fix though so I've been really happy with it. And operable windows huge in the summer if it gets hot in here, can open it up. And yeah. If we do want a room to like close each other off, it's kind of bummer that this is the only room to do that in, but it's what you get from living in a tiny house. <laughs>
Above the stairs and leading up to the bedroom, just to add extra storage, there's some hooks that seasonal equipment for either climbing, for biking. Um. Hats have been huge. That was kind of a last minute add, the hooks, just because again, I didn't want to clutter the house, but they have been so awesome and helpful because come in, you don't, you never want to come in and not have somewhere to set your stuff. And throwing a helmet on the wall where you can't touch it is huge. Well, welcome to the loft. Um, this is where we sleep, full queen size bed. Um, important, fits really well. A uh, big factor in picking this was the height of it because I wanted to be able to sit in bed without hitting my head and I can do that pretty easily. Um, it does slant down, which is totally fine. Copper is really the only one who <laughs> hangs out in that area. Um, a big part though, and the reason why I like the loft so much, I didn't want to have a ton of other things that you have to do up here. Like I didn't want to change, I didn't want to have storage really, because all you do is sleep. And so having a lot of windows, we can open these up, they're operable as well. So a lot of cross breeze in the summer, which is great. A shelf here just for pictures and whatever. Another bookshelf and within that there's like a hidden shelf which is just I have like a security system that goes in there. Um, but it's really simple and there's not much up here but I really like it that way. It just doesn't make you feel like you are living that tiny because you're not struggling being up here. We're outside again and this is our patio furniture. It's worked out really well um, to be able to have this space out here in this little nook. And this, I think, gets to the main reason you're having that tiny home, is to not be in the home as much as you can and to get outside and just feel the, the natural air. Um, so having this has even increased our likelihood of when we're home is still being outside. Living with someone else in a tiny house takes its adjustments, so it's just finding personal space and figuring out what you can bring into the tiny house and what you just can't because there's no space for it if you need a storage unit because of that or the whole accountability of putting things away and not leaving anything is huge with living with someone else because you don't have a door you can really close and have your own space so it's taking advantage of being outside and just communicating like crazy is huge. It's affordable, it allows just a lot more freedom for people, and we can be in places that we want to be um, without feeling stuck. Living out of a backpack for five months, you start to realize ups and downs from life come not from stuff or things. And so when you're living in a smaller space, it just feels like a more sustainable way to live. But it's very nice either way. I think it, he thinks it's his dog house. He, <laughs> like, he runs the house. We yeah. basically run our schedule off, copper schedule. 